Dental implants are now the standard of care and treatment of choice for replacement of missing teeth, and they offer over a 98% success rate, providing patients with the type of longevity that they expect. What seems to be the current trend in implant dentistry is how early the implants can be placed following tooth extraction, and also how early and how soon after placement of the implant the teeth or the restorations can be placed. This, of course, provides patients with immediate function and aesthetics and shortens the overall treatment time. Commonly referred to as teeth in a day or teeth in an hour, this process is referring to where a tooth is extracted, an immediate implant is placed, and if appropriate, immediate teeth or restorations are placed. Hence, the teeth in a day or teeth in an hour. Let's just first define the two terms. Immediate implants refers to a situation where a tooth is extracted and an immediate implant is placed on the same day. An immediate restoration is where an implant is placed and the teeth, whether it be a crown, a bridge, or a denture, are placed on the implants all on the same day. But we have to ask the following questions. When is it truly possible to do immediate implants? Is this option for everyone? And when is it appropriate to do immediate restorations or teeth? What is commonly not talked about in the media is the fact that these techniques and approaches are successful only in a selected group of patients, and perhaps they are the exception rather than the rule. In this two-part video, we're going to discuss when immediate implants and immediate restorations may be considered, and when they should be avoided. As we talked about, immediate implant refers to a situation where a dental implant is placed immediately following extraction of the tooth. This approach is highly predictable and successful only if it's done in the right side, in the right patient, and one has to respect the following principles. First, immediate implants are most predictable when they are placed in single rooted teeth. These include incisors, canines, and some premolars. They should generally be avoided in the molar sites because usually there are three or four roots and there is increased risk of complications and failure of the implants if they are placed at the time of the extraction. Second, the bone that surrounds the extracted tooth, which, which ultimately will support the implant, must be intact. There should be no major bone loss or defect. In the event that there is bone loss following extraction, it is best to graft the site restore the bone, and then place the implant at a later time once it's healed. Third, there should be no infection or pus present at the time of extraction. If implants are placed immediately in an area where it's infected, there is high failure rates and will not heal properly. Fourth, the diameter of the extracted tooth should be relatively smaller than the implant that's being placed. This is really important because proper healing requires the direct contact between the bone and the implant, and most importantly, good stability of the implant. If the implant is loose or not very stable, it will fail. So in summary, an immediate implant may be considered if the tooth that is extracted is single-rooted, that there is no infection, and there is adequate bone is present, and the implant is placed with great stability. Immediate implants should be avoided in molars, or if there's an infection, or if there's a significant bone loss, and if the implant cannot be held tightly in the bone because of the wide diameter of the extracted tooth. Now let's talk about immediate teeth or immediate restorations. Immediate restorations refers to when an implant has been placed, and a temporary restoration in form of a crown, a bridge, or a denture is placed on the same day. Obviously, the advantage is that a patient has their teeth right away, supported by implants, providing them with good aesthetics and perhaps function, and uh, preventing the use of other forms of temporary teeth, such as removable flippers. But it's important to realize that immediate teeth or restorations, while they're successful, should only be considered in certain situations. Otherwise, they will result in implant failure and loss. 
Here are the general rules and principles for immediate restorations. Number one, the oral surgeon placing the implant will inform the restoring dentist whether the implant is stable enough to support the restoration on the same day. If it is not appropriate, then the implant should be allowed to heal first and then place the restoration at a later time. Second, immediate restorations are most predictable when they are placed as multiple units in form of a bridge or a denture on several implants and less predictable when they are performed on single implants with single teeth. Third, in case of a single implant, the temporary crown should be placed with caution, and if possible, it should be bonded to the adjacent teeth for additional support. The real key is to avoid excessive forces on the implant during its healing, which can result in failure. Number four, the implant must be very stable in the bone. If the bone is soft or implants are not very stable, then placement of an immediate restoration can cause them to fail. 5. The immediate restoration is for the most part for cosmetic purposes. Patients must adhere to a very soft diet during the healing process and avoid excessive forces on them. The restorations should clear the bite so that they do not touch the opposing teeth when the patient bites down. And lastly, once the immediate temporary restoration is placed, it should be left alone during the entire healing phase. This could be from three to six months. Any manipulation during the early phases of the healing will result in failure and loss of implants. When appropriate, the temporary restorations may be adjusted to help shape the gum tissue surrounding it for improved aesthetic and functional results. So, in summary, immediate restorations or teeth in a day can be considered if the implant is very stable and if there are multiple implants being splinted together during a healing phase. Also, it's important to avoid pressure during a healing process and allow adequate time before manipulating it. It's important to realize that immediate implants and restorations are only successful when they are performed in the right patient and in the right tooth site. Proper diagnosis and communication by the surgeon and the restoring dentist is crucial in the success. And when in doubt, it's always best to slow down and stage the procedures in what I call one miracle at a time. While it might take a few more months to complete, the success and the longevity of the results is well worth it. Oral Surgery Current is recorded and produced by Dr. H. Ryan Kazemi at the Center for Oral and Facial Enhancement in Bethesda, Maryland. For more information, please check our website at www.facialart.com.